YouTube family! Welcome back, or welcome to Recruiting Board. Everyone knows what time of year it is. You all look forward to it. It's St. John's Prep vs. Catholic Memorial. These are two of New England's powerhouse programs, whether you like them, love them, or you hate them. These two teams are strong rivals. What about Prep Severian? That's been going on a lot longer. You can have multiple rivals. Florida has Florida State and Georgia, UNC, South Carolina, and Duke, and so on. By the way, I know what y'all are asking. Did he really just compare CM Prep to UNC Duke or UNC South Carolina? Yeah, bro. I've been covering this game long enough to know that both teams take it very seriously. They can say it's another game on the schedule, but it is most certainly not because this game right here will determine who is the best team in the state. To give you a little bit of backstory, if you don't know, basically once Jonathan DiBiase went to Catholic Memorial from Everett, the Catholic Conference got shaken up. CM became immediately much better and they met St. John's Prep in the 2018 and the 2019 Super Bowl. The 2019 Super Bowl is specific specifically notable because first off that is when Jonel Aguero became him and absolutely took over that game it is now 2023 and the 2019 Super Bowl was the last time Catholic Memorial lost to a Massachusetts high school team yeah they lost to a team down in Florida this year but that is not at all at the same level prep comes in number one in division one in the MIAA power rankings and CM is the clear-cut number one in division two in my preseason in power rankings I had CM at number one and prep at number three so this game right here will determine a lot do yourself a favor like share and of course subscribe to the best family here on YouTube I am so close to 3,000 bro I need like 30 subs to get me to 3,000 and with the playoffs coming up you don't want to miss out so definitely be joining the RB army and I'm gonna set a like goal like never before for this video this video gets thousands and thousands of views every year every time i upload it it's one of the most popular of the year on my channel so we are gonna set a like goal today 500 likes how about this 500 likes i'll give away 10 recruiting board shirts on instagram all right y'all without further ado st john's prep versus catholic memorial 2023 the fourth time this has been on the channel let's Jump into the highlights. The two headmasters getting along. CM versus Prep. Third and 11 after some penalties. Oh. Oh. 
Yo, Claude, man. Third down for CM. Sharps in the backfield. Bork. Oh, George Mathers stays on his feet. Avery made him pay. Fourth down for CM. Looking for Fat Hufler. Oh, good D. Good D. No, that wasn't true. So I don't have. Hey, bro! Go, Cam! Go, Cam! Go, Cam! Jimmy Nardone. Fourth and one. Oh, he got that. Go, Pearson. Go, Pearson. Oh, LaGrasa, great vision right there. Oh. oh. oh well, not right there. Fifteen. Oh, Roblar goes down. Oh, touchdown! He's in. I get This was controversial because it was called an incompletion, but I see why. His right hand goes down, and then it goes back on the ball. I think the referee saw the ball hit the ground, guys.
Fourth and three guys for prep. Nardone got him. Wow. Cam LaGrossa. What a run. This is third and seven for prep guys. They're gonna kick a field goal. 152 left in the game, guys. Good place. That's in. 149 left in the game. Fourth down. Fork. Looking for Isaiah. That's it. That's the game. That's the game. Coach, where does that one? How does that one feel? Been a long one. Uh, just very proud of the kid. Very happy for them. I have a ton of respect for that program, their coaching staff. They do a great job. We got guys out everywhere, and guys just kept stepping up, and I'm just really proud of them. I thought the physical, mental toughness of this group really was on display today. Owen White specifically, Coach. You want to talk about his play? Yeah, he did a great job. We moved him in. We got our top two corners are out right now, so he's another guy. Just stepped up uh, on a big stage and played outside of mine. And, uh, I'm very lucky to have him. You Matt Callahan too, Brian. I thought he played wow. really Matt, well. Matt, he's as good a linebacker as there is in the state. We've come to expect that you, you take it for granted a little bit yeah. and, and you don't want to. He's actually playing out of position because of injuries. We lost Jackson Tucker, who's a great linebacker for us you know, a couple weeks back. So he's out of position and he just he solidified that hole. So lucky Overall, how much does it take to, to game plan defensively for this unit and, and to focus throughout the game? It's the whole thing. It's both sides, you know. Um, I think we have some stuff we got to prepare for, too. But when we play them, we're going to find out who's the tougher team, who's the more physical team. And I think that's what happened today. You guys rushed for, I think, over 250. Held them to under, I think, 50 yards yeah, they rushing. They couldn't run the ball. Yeah, well, what about that, that interplay between those two things for you guys? Yeah, I thought our lines both side of the ball dominated the game. And against that group, with the size that they have, and with the injuries out, we started a freshman right guard today, Caden Blanchett. He just turned 14 this summer, I think. Um, <laughs> I'm proud of my guy. That's all I can say. Our lines won the day. And I believe that, the coaching staff, we believe in the trenches and, and winning up front. I think guys that have covered us know that, and uh, I thought we won the trenches both sides. Brian, how much of that? Parallels between last December against Springfield. They're such different teams. Yeah. Um, we had a plan. I mean, the weather's the weather. Both teams have to play in it, but mm -hmm. it's a line of scrimmage game with these guys. It always is, and we won the line of scrimmage today, and we won the game. So uh, we earned it. There's nothing easy against them. They're a great program, very well coached. Uh, the kids earned it. Owen White. 
Oh, and I just talked to Coach St. Pierre about you. You stepped up, you know, someone goes down and your name gets called. I mean, we play a tough schedule. Pressure's a privilege. We play hard teams. We work all year. Anyone could have stepped up. Opportunity was mine. That's why we go to the school. Had a great game. Just proud of the team. Oh, and then obviously they were testing you, it looked like. I was hoping for it. We got them on the ground. We wanted to do that. That was in the game plan. They throw the ball. We step up outside. We were doing our jobs. No one did more than they were supposed to. No one did less. We made big plays. It's standard. And we played really good. I'm proud of the guys. Oh, and then talk about what it's like beating a team like, you know, Catholic Memorial. You know, that's a team that the best team in the state, some had said, but I think not anymore. It's what we do. We're supposed to do it. And I think we showed them today that they, they should believe in us. Put us number one. We're expecting more hard teams. We're going to work harder, play faster, win games. Oh, no. and you want to shout out your friends and family? Yeah, I mean, I play this game. I mean, my, my parents, they're the best. They push me to play. It's uh, it's tough because I, I wasn't, didn't really play last year. Parents were like, you got to play. I really love them. Got my uncle. He's texting me every every game. It means a lot. The teammates, I mean, the whole second shell that I've been playing with all year, all dogs. Wilmot, Lembo, Bossy, all could have stepped up. Bossy was in there. He was playing hard. Shout out to Recruiting Boy. Hell yeah, brother. Cam, you guys just beat CM. Career day for you, would you say? Yeah, for sure. You know, talk about beating CM, a game that everybody's been looking forward to all year. Yeah, I mean, it definitely means a lot. They're definitely a really good opponent, but all week we're working hard, and we knew that we, this is something that we could do. It's good to, you know, beat them. Uh, we're like the second team to beat them in Massachusetts for a long time, so it's, it's good. Yeah, I'm, you guys were the last team in Massachusetts. Yeah. That's right. Um, and then obviously you guys had some injuries, but a lot of guys stepped up. Owen, you guys had a freshman yeah. starting on the line. I, you know, what's that been like? I mean, it's definitely put some like consideration on like how deep our lineup is. You know, these guys are like great enough and strong enough to step in, and as they can show that, they can get the job done. Talk about that long run you had. Yeah, I mean, it was great. I couldn't ask for a better hole. You know, old line made a perfect, made just right run through it. So. Awesome and then what you know defensively you know talk about your defensive play of the day yeah i mean like defensively like they did a great job only keeping them to eight points is something that's like really big you know they're known to score a lot of points but that just shows how deep, how uh, strong your defense is awesome you want to shout out your friends and family cam yeah shout out my mom dad brother and sister and uh shout out recruiting board hell yeah cam thank you brother